Okay, hi everybody. Here's a other PowerPoint immune system protection. Um, immunity, we already went over this, but you can use either definition. Immunity is the body's capability to repel foreign substances and cells. So it fights the bad guys, fights anything that your body did not originally make. And there are different barriers it has to get through, and don't overthink it. It is just from the outside going in. The first barrier, you guys, what is it going to hit? It's going to hit your skin. Okay, so the first barrier is your skin, and your skin creates a mucous membrane, which might be gross, but it helps keep the bad guys away. And don't forget about tears and saliva, which have enzymes in them that break down invaders and protect you. So you have all this layer. It's kind of like our cell wall. It's my analogy to it. But there's our first protection. Pathogens run into this. So when you make boogers and you sneeze and all that fun, gross stuff, the pathogens or the bad guys come out with it so they don't make it internally or inside your body. The second barrier, and again, these might be gross, but there is a reason, is inflammation, meaning swelling. It's the second barrier, so there's heated or red areas on the skin. This also could be blisters and things like that. Um, histamine causes blood flow to increase to the area to repair it. What's in blood that is important? What is in blood that is important? So always think why. Why would it? Sorry, everybody, one second. Announcements. Once again. So histamine causes blood flow to the area, and what's in the blood that's important are the good guys. So your white blood cells and the things that make the antibodies. So they come there, so it's like sending the ambulance to where the injury is. This is sending the good guys to where the bad guys are located. So the second one is, oh no, they made it inside. Let's inflame, let's repair it, let's make this little bubble so they can have a fight inside where the good guys win, or the white blood cells. Okay, the third barrier is your white blood cells, the good guys. They do all the fighting for you. This is your army. This is your navy. Um, they do all the cleanup, and they eat alien substances. What is an example is pathogens, viruses, germs, bacteria, protists, fungus. They get all of those guys. They fight them. And this is, again, we have all of these barriers. Your skin stops a large percentage of the pathogens. This is if it gets way to the inside. Um, going into this, this is why you get sick. Remember, everything in science needs energy. So we give all our energy to the good guys so they have energy to fight. This is an example of why you get tired when you are sick. It's because all your energy goes to your immune system because it says, oh, well, it's, it's not important to walk around. We need to be able to fight the bad guys. So speaking of white blood cells, they say, man, this is a lot of work. So how do I stop it? from coming back again because I don't want to do this every time. So they make antibodies, okay, which like I said is a protein to help fight it. They are made by the white blood cells. I repeat, feel free to write this down. They are made by the white blood cells. These are your tattletales. They're very specific. My analogy to antibodies is um, if you put a picture up in a store because someone stole from you, what is the point of putting that picture up? It is so they don't come back, correct? So you can see what they look like and make it so, oh, no, 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 you were in here before and you stole something from me. So they make it so they can't come back. So they are a memory of defense to prevent the bad guys from attacking again. So if I'm an antibody, I'm your tattletale, and I say, oh, there's another flu virus, there's another flu virus. And who am I talking to? Who am I trying to call? The good guys. Who are the good guys? The white blood cells. So I'm going to go back through this again. First barrier is your skin. Kind of like your cell wall, it's simply a barrier. You have many layers. They secrete mucus, that's your tears and your boogers and all of that to keep them out. Inflammation is kind of making a cave or a dome so the good guys can fight in an area and they send blood to that area. Histamine makes it itchy. It just happens to be what causes it, which is why allergy pills are antihistamines, so they block this. And again, does that mean that they're stopping it? Yes, but remember, allergies aren't actually bad guys. They're tricking your body. Third barrier, your white blood cells, the good guys. The white blood cells eat your alien substances, and after they eat them, they make a antibody that memorizes the bad guy. Okay. In this activity, remember, if you choose to do your next part after the PowerPoints is to choose two act one of the two activities and complete everything with it. This one is the comic strip. So here's the information for the comic strip assignment. Or sorry, I apologize, not comic strip, your personal ad. Um, so let me know if you get to this part and choose personal ad and I can help you and show you examples. Um, don't forget allergies. I'm going to spend a little bit of time of allergies. 
Allergies are your body overreacting to something simple. Okay? This is still the ad. So allergies are overreacting to something simple. So like pollen, it thinks pollen is a bad guy. So if you think about people with allergies, they're always acting sick. And the reason why is because your body thinks you are sick. It's fighting the pollen or whatever people are allergic to, even though it does no harm, your body thinks it's a bad guy. So it does send histamine to the areas and make it red and itchy, and it does secrete more mucus and all of that. If you want to know more about allergies, please come see me, and I would love to show you. But again, right now, I'd like you guys to red, yellow, and green your notes. Write a summary of your choosing. Uh, make sure you bump this up a level. Immunity is a large part of the test, and I am not teaching it besides this. So please make sure you look and get some help. Um, I do expect you to know allergy. If you need help with that vocab word, you can look it up in the back of the book or come see me. Happy learning.